Hey y'all, this is Brett, and today I want to talk about how you can completely block cell phone radiation from getting into your body, and also how you can avoid it as much as possible. Now, I hope that <clears throat> I hope that it's not too windy and messing with the microphone on this camera, but basically this is not a good idea. Taking your cell phone and putting it in a can of beans that still has some beans in it like that. No, no, no. Get get that out of there. Get that out of there and then wipe the bean. Wipe the beans off, off the cell phone. And don't let that happen again. Okay? <laughs> because that's not a good idea. Okay, so what you want to do is, first of all, if you're close to power lines or if you're using your cell phone one thing you can do is take off your shoes and ground yourself to the earth and what that does is it allows the electricity to flow through your body and not just be stuck in it like if you were wearing rubber shoes if you're wearing rubber sho rubber shoes you're insulated and you're not allowing that electricity to leave peacefully and when it's not doing that, then it's probably causing all kinds of nervous disorders and brain problems, you know. People get exposed to electricity every day, all day long, and then they're not grounded. And who knows how many problems it's causing for their bodies. And if you go to lessemf.com, you can find various ways to ground yourself while you're indoors. And not for a lot of money either. For instance, one of the things you can buy from the earthing people that wrote the earthing book that you can also read is that you can buy these grounding pads that you plug into the wall and you can have your foot on it or you can have your elbows on them while you're typing, etc., etc. You can do that. Now, another way to avoid cell phone EMF is to leave the cell phone off. See that button right there? Just turn it off and don't keep it on while you're on while it's on you all the time or while it's with you. Just wait until later and then get on it. Then check all your messages and return all your calls at the same time while you're grounded to the earth preferably. If it's cold in the winter time, you'll have to use one of those indoor grounding methods from lessemf.com. But if you do all that, then it'll minimize your exposure. And so many things that we need to do in this life to stay healthy are things that are premeditated. We think about it first, and then we plan ahead. We use our brains. Okay? Sometimes when you're in a chaotic traveling thing like I'm doing, <laughs> it's not so easy. But look, I'm still making healthy food. I pulled right over. Do you think I was going to pull right over at a fast food place and eat shit? No. I pulled right over, put up my little table, yanked the Coleman stove out, yanked out a pot, threw some buckwheat in there, and some collard greens, and some spices, and some potatoes, and a beet, and a pepper, and some salt. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? It's gonna be really good and healthy too. So get healthy, stay healthy, and avoid stuff like this as much as possible. And that, see those big power lines? It's not very far from me. It looks like it is more in the camera, but that's actually roughly 50 yards, that pole you can see. Thanks for joining. Bye.